Okay, guys. I have these three knives right here. I just finished making a video on the hard line knife. And I said I would go ahead and show a comparison of all three of these. These are all made by Milwaukee. The one to the far right is the Milwaukee Hardline three and a half inch knife. The one in the middle is the Fastback. And the one to the left is one of their razor knives. So let me just go into the razor knife first. This one I've had for about a year and a half, I guess. As you can tell, it's got some wear from being in my pocket and dropped and slung and everything else. But uh, I had the thinner version of this before. This is a wider one. The, the other one is kind of like this. You, you can tell it's like almost twice as thick because this razor knife has the little storage to put three or four extra blades in it which is nice i had the thinner one though and i left it on a job cutting something open i put it down and went on to do something else and when i left i realized i had left it but it was about a two hour drive so two hour drive back for a knife that might not even be there anymore because someone would have found it or just go buy a new one for 10 bucks because I think this one's like 10, 12 dollars and the other one's nine or 10. Um, I, I like the thinner one more. It wasn't as heavy and it took up less space in my pocket, it wasn't as bulky. So if you plan to change blades often, then I would definitely go with this. But you know, if you're only gonna change the blade once every week or two, then I'd just get the other one. The thinner one is my preference. I plan to buy a new one here soon and just keep this one in my truck door as a backup if I leave it at the house or something. Now this is magnetic, so the blades stay in unless you pull them. It's cool. You push this button here to slide the blade out, flip it around, put you a new blade. I probably got a little crud stuck in here, I got a little silicone and all kind of stuff in this. This one's been used. I use this every single day. So it is must have for me. But to uh, open it, I give it to a lot of people to use real quick and they're sitting there pulling it, pulling it, pulling this particular one. You push this button and you open it. You push the button, you close it. When I use it, I hit the button. Oh, now you're gonna be stupid with me. Hit the button. Oh man, gonna make a fool out of me today, huh, Milwaukee? All right, push the button and you sling it out. And you sling it back. And like I said, I probably got some crud in there right now. Any other time, this thing would work fine. This also stops at a 45 degree angle. So to lock in right there, if you're just gonna cut down versus open, but it locks in the middle, which is pretty cool. Depending on what you're trying to do with it. But it pivots, you just hold that button and pivot. Now I'm about to go put some oil on this thing. But for the most part, it works pretty great rather than like a regular knife where you gotta push and, and open it by hand. You know, if you got it in your pocket, you pull it out and, and you sling it open. But like I said, it's a must have for me. I'll carry this over a pocket knife. Then right here we have the Fastback. I found this up on top of a freezer, about 25 foot in the air, it had dust all over it, probably been there for a year or two, somebody lost it, left it up there, kind of like I left this one somewhere. Um, I've used it like twice, I leave it in my door of my truck. This one here, you push on this knob, it's gonna sling open. Pretty good mechanism on this one. Um, it's got the same style clip, has a razor knife. And this particular one has a serrated blade in the back. Like I said, I've only used it like twice. It's still brand new. And this one, I just got from someone as a gift. Um, as I said, this one's about $10, $15. This one's about $20 to $30, usually $25. And I thought this one was the same as that, really, but Apparently this one's between 50 and $80, usually 80, but on sale for 50, 60 right now. Um, 
people watch the video, they bragged on the opening bearing mechanism. But as you can tell, so far it has not really been so great. You know, if you push it extremely hard and sling it at the same time, it'll open. But the way they talked about the bearings, I assumed it would open like this one. You see how there's minimal effort and it slings open. This one here, it's more of a pivot. And if you don't put enough behind it, it won't open. So, like I said in the other video, when I just opened this one, I'm gonna loosen this, maybe put a little oil and open it, close it a few more times and see if it makes any difference. Maybe it's just too new to work properly. But, Overall, I like this style where the frame locks. It's a lot more sturdy. This blade isn't going to break off and cut you. As opposed to the older style here. Either way is all great though. But this was just a little look in comparison. The clip on this one is also different. It's here in the middle and shorter at the top. Don't know if I like how that's gonna sit in the pocket. Like I said, I'll try it and see how that goes. And I'll make an update video on this particular knife that you guys know. But in the future, I'll probably end up giving one of these away in one of my giveaways. I have another giveaway going on right now that has three different hats in it, a pair of Klein strippers, some uh, ball valves for your uh, hoses for HVAC work, and I have a uh, Something else in there. Can't think of what it is right at this moment. But uh, there's six different things for that giveaway. I'll give away one of those when it wins. But, uh, and then when I get a new one like this, I might get two and give one of these away. I'll probably keep this beat up one or give away one. Of, I'll, I'll get one of either the same as this or the skinny one that I'm going to replace with mine and give one of those away as well later on. But... If you're interested in one of these, I'd check out the other giveaway and subscribe. And